فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير. How would you describe yourself in three words? Can I can I make it four words? Okay, why not? Okay, it's going to be a strange answer. Let's okay, listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Those are the four words I can describe myself using. The reason is, I'm always in awe with the creation of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So that's the Subhanallah. Everything I look at, I try and look at the Qudra of Allah. Wow. So whether it's humankind, animals, any other creatures, you know, the the mountains. When I'm in Cape Town, it's just Subhanallah, and it's so me. Because I, I love to look at people, I look at him, mashallah, since he was young. And I just say, subhanallah, you know, I'm just so in awe. And then, alhamdulillah, you thank Allah. I, I, I try to thank Allah for everything, even the difficulties, the problems, the issues, the, 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 the calamities, the disasters. You just say, alhamdulillah, oh Allah, this could have been worse. It could have been worse. And I really appreciate everything you've done for me, oh Allah. You know, alhamdulillah, all praise is for you, oh Allah. La ilaha illallah, we worship Allah alone. And I'm quite strict on that where I wouldn't like to dilly-dally when it comes to worship of Allah. It's Allah and Allah alone, right? The one who made you and He alone. Okay, that's la ilaha illallah. And Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. We're hoping that the future will be better. Everything that someone says, Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. I have so much conviction in Allah that I know He will not do something bad. If something comes uh, and the future seems uncertain to us for Allah, it's definitely going to be better. So those are four words I can use to describe the way I am. Uh, and I hope that I can build on that still, inshallah.